Hi everyone, I'm Holly from Handprinted and today I'm going to show you a quick trick for your liner cuts. Quite often when you're printing a liner cut, you'll get quite a lot of noise or chatter and that is the areas that you've carved away, picking up ink and printing. You can see these carved areas here in the background of this chicken print have been picking up ink and printing. Now it's not necessarily a problem, sometimes it can add character to your print, sometimes it can be intentional, but occasionally you'll want to do a print where there's a nice crisp white area and you don't want any at all. You can see on the block all these areas that are picking up ink and creating this chatter. Now there are a few ways that you can get rid of this chatter. Um, you can try and carve the lino down lower and flatter so it doesn't pick up as much, much ink and that can, that can work well. When you've got a wide area like this, it can be easier to use a mask. You can use a paper mask. What I'm going to do today is use a mask made out of mylar, which is a, a plastic. We sell it on the roll. Um, and I'm going to use this mylar to create a mask that's going to cover up the areas um, that I don't want to print. I'm going to be using Tans Burton pins and tabs for this project, which will help me register the print, but also will help me get my mask in the right place every time. Now you absolutely don't have to use the Tans Burton pins and tabs if you don't want to. You can just have a, a mask that you place down by eye before you take your prints, but it can be helpful to have the pins and tabs for getting everything in the right place, especially if you're doing a large edition. We've got a video on using the Turns Burton pins and tabs. If you scroll back a few videos, you can find out more information about using these. But for now, if I just quickly explain that I've got two pins, which are stuck onto a board here, and I've got four bits of mount board, which show where my lino will slot in. My printmaking paper has already been prepped with the tabs masking taped on, that clips the paper into the right place and I can take my print. I've prepped a few pieces of paper with my tabs so they're all ready to go. But the first thing I want to do now is prepare my mask. I don't really want any of this background, especially at the top, to pick up ink and print like it has here. So I want to cover this bit up. So the first thing I'm going to do is place my mylar over the top of my print and then I'm going to just pop some Turns Burton tabs on those pins up there and stick them on using a bit of masking tape. Now my mask can be taken away, popped back on for each print. My mask is going to get between my lino and my printmaking paper. So I want to cut away any areas that I want the ink to come through. So I want my chicken and the ground and the grains here to come away. Just going to use a permanent pen to mark in the areas that I want to cut. I'm going to now take it off my pins and use a scalpel to cut this section out. I've now removed that section where I want the ink to come through. I've been careful to trim off, um, to trim on the outside of my marker pen edge ever so slightly because I don't want really any marker pen left on this just in case there's any transfer to the paper. I've got my lino and I can pop this mask on here and it covers up the space. It's loosely cut around the outside here, just so it goes at the bottom and leaves open this nice bit of lino where I want all my ink to go. So now I'm ready to ink up. So here I've got my lino inked up. You can see the black here, the areas where the roller has added ink to these lines and that's what I don't want. So my next thing to do is pop my mask back onto its pins if you're not using the Turns Burton pins and tabs, you can just lay your mask over the top and do it by eye. So just pop that over there. Next, my printing paper can also be popped onto here and laid down 
on top. Then I've got a sheet of greaseproof paper and a bamboo barren. So you can see I've got a nice crisp white top here in comparison to my print without a mask. I can then print a large edition, however many I would like, using the same mask, inking up, placing my mask down and taking more prints. I know that the mask is going to be in the same place every time because I'm using my turns, burton pins and tabs. And I know that none of this ink is going to reach my paper. We'd love to hear all of your hints and tips for lino cutting. Maybe you have figured out a special method for your prints that works really well. We'd love to hear what you get up to. Everyone prints slightly differently and that's one of the things that we really love about printmaking. Head over to the website for all these materials, including the mylar, the turns, burdens, the lino, the ink, everything that you need, as well as lots more projects, blogs, and of course more videos. Happy printing.